Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Are you feeling frustrated? Well, here's an answer to another Final Cut Pro question. I can see why I want to create a compound clip inside the timeline, because it allows me to condense the elements inside the timeline. I'm going to go back and break it apart again. But why would I want to create a compound clip inside the event browser? And this is so cool. This is like a huge feature. If you create a compound clip inside the event library or inside the event browser, I can use that exact same compound clip in multiple shows. Because remember, events are always available to us regardless of what project is open. So let's say I create a show open and I've got stuff flying in and around and text and keys and titles and all I need to do is to drop in a couple of different shots for the, uh, the open that are taken from the show to, to personalize it for that particular show. If I create that as a compound clip in the event browser, I can reuse that compound clip as much as I want in multiple projects with no problems. This is, this is like being able to create your own project to put inside another project. Compound clips can be of any arbitrary length, can, control, can contain as many clips as you want. They don't even have to match the project settings. You could have a high def compound clip and drop it into a standard DEF project. So compound clips in the event browser give us lots of flexibility that we don't have by simply making a compound clip a nest inside the timeline. My name is Larry Jordan. For more training, both written and video, visit larryjordan.biz store today. And thanks for watching.